Well hey there everybody welcome back to another tutorial as you see we will be doing Waffle House. This tutorial will also include the interior. I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial and if you do please drop a like. Now let's go ahead and get this started. Well hey there again everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Before we start the tutorial I just wanted to show you all the blocks and everything like that. So in this texture pack on the PS4 this is in the high definition modern texture pack. I'm going to be using the yellow concrete. Try to use something that the banners blend in on. So the yellow banner blend in very well on that color. So whatever yellow block you use try to make sure that the yellow banner will match. Also, the terracotta. So, again, if you don't have this texture pack, try to come up with the same colors as I do. So, come up with a color like this, and then some sort of tile block for the inside interior that we're going to be doing. Also, black stained glass panes. This texture pack, this is the pink stained glass pane, and we'll go over that later on. Also, the barrier blocks we'll be using, as you see, it's holding up this, and we'll cover that later on as well how to get that and how to use it and what it's for also we're going to be using the anisite wall the red concrete powder so again we'll cover that so try to come up with the same type of colors also smooth stone and black concrete All right one more thing whenever you go to do the foundation make sure that you place these blocks one block higher than your pavement than your parking lot because as you see we're gonna have a two block wide sidewalk which is a block higher off of your pavement here your parking lot you're gonna level it up with the slabs here so again when you place this block in here make sure that you place it one block higher than your parking lot and that will be the entire build. Now the sidewalk again is going to be two blocks with this in here and it'll go all the way down two blocks all the way around the building. Back here it will be three and then again the slab will go around the entire build pretty much like this here and then two blocks here with this coming around like this. Also right here on the front entrance you're gonna have three with that full block and then you're gonna have two of the slab here. And then you're gonna have three here on each side. Alright, now let's go ahead and get this started. Now right here is going to be my front entrance. So go ahead and position this build however you need to have it. Over here is my main road here. So this is where I'm going to start off at right here. So again, position this however it needs to be turned whatever direction in your world. I'm going to start off by using this block here, the terracotta. Remember, use something of this color, whatever texture pack you guys are using. So right here, this is where I'm going to start off at on this corner. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 blocks right there. Okay. Now once you've got that 16, you're going to turn on this side here. Again, this is going to be facing the road. And you're going to add right here 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 once again. Alright, now right here on this front entrance, we're going to go ahead and grab this block here. This is a smooth stone. Guys, again, use something similar to that. And then 
some sort of tile block I'm going to use the mossy stone bricks so again use something similar to this right in here you're going to go ahead and place one here and then you're going to come out where these black blocks are and go one two three go to the right one two three four and come up one two three now once you've got that then your tile block whatever you, this is going to be on the inside so use something like that you're just going to go ahead and fill that three by three in right there now we'll come back to that later on that will be on the inside as well now once you've got that then you're going to take this block again go right here on the right side of this and it's going to go to the right here we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and right here we're going to go ahead and have a door now go ahead and place a light gray wool right here we'll come back and put the door in later on the right side of that door you're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen all right now once you've got that then you're going to turn around this side here and you're going to add one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and these two black blocks here go ahead and pick a block of choice something that looks metal I'm going to be using the in stone bricks for right here so just for now just come up like this again use something similar to that now go ahead again with your terracotta block and then come out three right here now once you've got that then you're going to turn this way which is going to be the back and you're going to add one two three four five and then right here again light gray wool two blocks this will be the back door for delivery so we'll come back and put the doors in later on so again two blocks there and then with terracotta here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37 should meet up right up against there just like that. Alright, now let's go ahead and come right over here to this side again closest to the road and grab your anisite wall. You're going to come to this corner here and come up 1, 2, 3. And then you're going to have your black stained glass panes, three right here, and these windows will be a three by three, just like that. Now again with your wall, it'll come up right here. You're going to have four windows right here on the front. So another window here, another three by three. This will come up again, three tall, another three by three window another three tall wall and then again another three window and then right here on the end you should end up with another three tall wall just like that alright now once you have your windows in there just like this then now come around this side here where the entrance is and we're gonna also have four windows right here you're gonna do the same thing with the wall and the three by three window so right here you're gonna have again three by three window wall here three by three window wall another window wall another window and then right here you're gonna go ahead and put your wall here and come up by three so one two three so when you come up three here it should be one block taller than this one make sure you guys do that Alright, now once you have your windows in here, then now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab your wall once again and come right here. One, two, three. And then grab your black concrete. Go right on top of this wall, three blocks. 
this one as well one two three all right now once you've got that then grab your glass come right here be another three by three window another wall three blocks tall and then one more window right here and then your wall here just like so All right now once you have your windows in there like that then now let's go ahead and come right over here again grab your anisite wall and you're gonna come up here one two three here as well now once you've got that then grab your black stained glass panes again and you're gonna come up just like this all right now once you've got that then grab your red block of choice again I'm using the red concrete powder because I do like the faded red color and it's gonna have one two three four five blocks just like this on across there and once you've got that then come right over here grab your glass panes again come up right here three tall and then you're gonna put one there you're going to do the same thing on this side as well. So, one, two, three, and then one there. Now, right here, instead of using a door, the doors will not line up, connect with the wall or the glass. If you don't have this texture pack, then use a different type of glass pane. Why? glass white stained glass pane will work or any other glass pane will work but try to make something similar to this now I know a lot of you don't have this texture pack I'm using the red stained glass pane and I think this right here looks perfect just like a door how it needs to look like in real life so again we place two right there and yes if you do have a different texture pack Make sure that you use a glass pane. Do not use a door because it will not connect up with the wall or this glass on this side. So you have to use some sort of glass pane for this. Well, Alright, now once you have that, then now come right over here and go ahead and put your door choice in here. I'm using the birch door. Now once you've got that, then now go ahead and count right here. One, two, three three four five six so the sixth block here you're gonna add six so one two three four five six this here will come on across this way and then it'll come right up against this wall right here right up against this wall this right here you're just gonna simply fill in all right, now once you have this, then now let's go ahead and come right over here. And you're going to go one, two, three, four. You should have two blocks here from the top. This here will come on across. This here will be filled in with this block as well. All right, now once you've got that, then now come on this side here where this is and go ahead and carry it on across this here will be two blocks tall just like this here now once you've got that then now go ahead and come right up here take this on across to this corner like that and again all this will be filled in as well right here this will come up two more blocks making this three blocks tall total grab your choice of drop door place in there grab your iron bars come up to here and then I'm gonna use white stained glass panes this is what it looks like in this texture pack if you don't have this texture pack then just go ahead and carry on up like that it doesn't really matter this here will be the back part of the freezer for inside so again just go ahead and fill all this in 
All right, now what we're gonna do is come right over here to the back. I'm gonna put two iron doors right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this terracotta. Come on across, even with this here. Go ahead, take this on up, just like this, and then right here up over the doors as well. Okay, now once you have that, then right here on the top block, place this block here, which is smooth stone. So place that there. Then you're going to come down right here. One, two, three, four five now once you have that then this is gonna come straight on down to this corner right here right up against here you're gonna come on up and connect that up like that now if you've done it right you should have two blocks of this terracotta above this wall Alright, now once you have that, then you're just going to fill in this wall. Alright, now once you have that, then now grab your yellow block. I'm using yellow concrete. Again, use a yellow block that blends in with the yellow banners. So come down by three blocks with that yellow right here. And then you're going to take this all the way down. When you get to this corner, go ahead and add one more. Just like this. And once you've got that, then this will come on up. This yellow will be three blocks tall. Just like this here. Alright, now once you've got that, then now grab your trapdoor of choice. I'm going to use the acacia trapdoor. Try to use a black one and place two of them here. And then use your iron trapdoors and place them right up under this yellow and this will go all the way down to here All right, now once you have that then now let's go ahead and come right over here and you're gonna go ahead and take this yellow bring it right on top of these windows all the way down to this corner right here this will also be three blocks tall just like this Now once you've got that, then this here, you're going to carry on down, all the way down to here, and this will also be three blocks tall as well. Alright, now go ahead and grab your iron trap doors, the same ones that you used down here. You're going to take those and you're going to place right here on top like that. These here will go all the way across this side here. They will wrap around here. You're going to have to get up here, crouch, place it off of that one. And curve it around. It will go all the way down to here. And then when you get to this part, it's going to hang over by two like this. Alright now again once you have your white trap doors across it just like this here and hanging over the yellow by two here then now grab your anisite slabs these here will go right on top of this all the way down just like so pretty simple wrap around this way if you guys do like this tutorial please drop a like down below that'll meet up just like that there and then you're gonna go ahead and come down here and simply come on across just like this here and once you've got that then take your smooth stone blocks and right here will be your roof on this level you're gonna fill in on this level here Again guys, I tried to make this look realistic as possible, and I hope that you all appreciate that. 
it's kind of hard to make something that looks so simple look good in Minecraft. Alright, now once you've got that there, then you're going to come up top here. And we have this one marked from earlier. This is going to be the level of this roof as well. So let's go ahead and fill this in as well. Alright, now with the red block of choice, again I'm using the red concrete powder. As you know, when you place it down, it will fall. It's a gravity block like sand and gravel. So you're going to need to support it if you're using this block. You can either use string, which is fine, but you can see the string. It will support it, but I'm going to use the barrier block. This is how you use it here. If you don't have it in your hand, you can't see it. So nobody will ever know that it's there. So I'm going to use the barrier block. It's a lot cleaner. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to have to have this barrier block or the string, whatever. And you're going to place it right here. And this will go all the way down to this corner. And then you're going to have to place this right on top of there. Just like that. Make sure that you have one block here from here. Now once you've got that, then you're going to have to come down like this. And this will also come on across. And then you're going to place this right on top of there. Alright, now what you got to do is carry this on across this way. So again with your berry block, place it here, right up against here, and then you're going to place this right on top. Just like this. Alright, now with this one here, again, it'll come on out. Again, you can use string if you want. If you're using this, if you're building this in survival, which would be pretty cool. Alright, this will come on around like this. Okay, now in here, I'm going to use the smooth quartz slab. Place them in there like that. And then this here will come on across. Just like that there. And right here as well. And then again with your barrier block. When you get here, you'll go one block past the yellow. This here will come on across. Just like that. And then again this will come on out just like this well, alright now once you have this then now come right over here somewhere right around in here place your block of choice I'm going to use the cracked stone bricks black trap door on top and then I'm going to take this in stone brick wall up here like this here also right over here I'm going to go ahead and come right about in here close to the middle you guys can eyeball it somewhere right here it doesn't really matter and then place your light gray carpet here once you've got that take your door right wall come down like this and then you're going to take out this trap door come out like this connect that up come on down here like this and then now you're going to take a block temporary block here take your hopper place it into that block there that way it looks like it's coming out like this all right now once you've got that then come up top here it's going to be towards the back here or the 
cooking stuff is on the inside you're gonna place two blocks inside here I'm using the lodestone you guys use whatever and then go ahead and place your two smoke stats in here and once you've got that then go ahead and come over here somewhere all this is random so it doesn't really matter place that block in there and then you're gonna come up and make yourself an antenna and as always go ahead and put your AC units up here on the roof for this small building I wouldn't have no more than two again this is random so it doesn't really matter exactly where you place all this at just make it look good I'm using the droppers facing into each other then four rails on top stone bricks slabs and then stone brick wall well, right now it's time to do these banners I'm gonna show you how to do each one of these so pay close attention to these now right here on the building I have these marked out where they're gonna go you're gonna have three blocks on the yellow from this end and you're gonna have three blocks of yellow on this end as well this is gonna say waffle where these black are you have a space and where these black are this is gonna say house so waffle house right there also on this side you're gonna have waffle house banners here it's gonna be one two three four five six blocks number seven will be waffle space and then house right here now the very last banner here should be in line with this glass right here all right now once again this is what you should have with the banners once they're on the building also over here now something that you need to take note whenever you place these banners up here if this trap door is right here you won't be able to place the banner there so make sure that you place the trap doors right here that way you can place the banners there so again this is what you should have
what right, now with your sign here you're gonna come off of here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve blocks with your anisite wall okay and in between your wall here you're gonna have one two three four five six seven blocks in between then you're gonna have one two three in the fourth block you're gonna have this anisite wall coming on across and then as you see here we have the granite wall or black wall here in between the banners now the yellow in here is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven blocks on the yellow on the top and bottom the anisite wall will be in between here like that going on through and then looking at this here you'll see the W's on the end going on down having this in between and then down here this is on the end and the H starts there so again it's really easy to do and then on top you're gonna have these trap doors on the sides as well and then on the bottom this side will be the same well, alright now let's go ahead and go on the inside here Did you see I started the layout and I'll go over all of it very easy so we're gonna start off right over here on this side grab your choice of stairs I'm gonna use the acacia stairs right off this corner you're gonna have one two third block place a stair like this and then a stair like this I'm gonna have some of these stairs as seats I'm gonna have these place a little bit different from each other that way it looks more realistic like they're being pulled out or people haven't pushed them back in here I have a dark oak fence I'm gonna have a three by three table here you see these two chairs are like this this one is pulled back here extra detail okay now once you got that you're gonna come right over here to this corner and you're gonna have this chair up against in the corner and then this one pushed in you're gonna have this dark oak fence post here and then this seat here and then this seat like this again this will be a 3x3 three three table we'll come back to that in just a minute come right over here to this section you're gonna have these two chairs like this another post here this chair like this this chair like this all right you're gonna have two blocks in between there you're gonna have three blocks in between here all right now over here we're gonna have a trash can so I'm gonna put the trash can in here now for the flooring as you see I have this tile that we first started off in here that tile will go all the way back here and we'll get to all that later on but as you see the tile will come around this way as you see and we'll get to all this in just a minute right here we're gonna have another seating area two chairs like this fence post chair like this and chair like this another three by three tabletop here over here as you see we have a jukebox this texture pack this is what the jukebox looks like it's an actual jukebox and then I have the respawn anchor or you have these three blocks here place the respawn anchor there jukebox there and then to cover the sides of this I'm gonna go ahead and place the trap door on the sides
And then... Now this is what you should have. You're gonna have a another garbage can right here. Go ahead and place the truck door there. This one as well. Alright, over here in the corner we're gonna have a bigger booth sitting area. As you see, we're gonna have two blocks from that trash can where this door is. We're gonna have one, two, three. Number four, you're gonna wrap it around and then place one here. Fence post right here. And then you're gonna have two chairs like this. Again, we'll come back with a tabletop in just a minute. All right, now right here where you have the back of these chairs, you're gonna have sand or some sort of other block that looks like this. Sandstone will work as well. One, two, three, and then one here. This is where it's gonna be the bathrooms. You're gonna have a space right here in between. And then you're gonna have this same shape here. One, two, three, four, and then one here. Two more trash cans here. All right, and back here, you're gonna skip a space, have the sand in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you're just gonna come out like this. You have two sand here. And then right here is another garbage can. Alright, now once you've got that, then come right over here to the back door. You're going to have a block in from here with chisel cord block. You're going to skip a space here, and you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. As you see in here, we have two blocks of this here strip oak wood. This is going to go all the way to the wall. One, two, three, four blocks here. Back here, you're gonna have light gray wool. One, two, three, four. Come out one there. This is where the cooler or freezer is gonna be. Place two there like that. And we'll get back to this in just a minute. You have another trash can right here. Alright, now right off of here, to save some counting because this is going to go straight on down to here, what we're going to do is we're going to come off of this corner here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight, place that block, and you're going to have three across here, skip a space, and then three more across like this, you're going to have another trash can here, just like that and don't forget to grab your trap doors now here is going to be a straight shot connect right up to here alright now back here where the cooler or freezer is going to be grab this light gray wool you're going to come right here do this and this is going to come up two more blocks, making this three blocks tall total. Alright. Grab two doors of choice. I'm using the crimson door. Take this on across the top. Then grab your polish anisite full blocks. Go right on top of this. Bring it around like this. And then you're going to take the polished anisite slab. Cut that off. And then here you're going to come out with the full block. 
coming across and then you're gonna have the slab here all right now once you've got that then grab your iron trap doors place those there go on the inside here place these these All right, now once again with the tabletops, they are a three by three with the trap doors right on top of these posts. So again, that's what you should have. This one over here is just three across like that. Now let's go ahead and do these bathrooms here. Now I'm gonna be using a hopper because in this texture pack, it looks like the bottom of the toilet even has water in it. If you don't have this texture pack, use a smooth quartz stair upside down like this with a trap door on top. But like I said, I'm going to use the hopper. Got to have a toilet there, and then got to have a toilet here. Alright, now you're going to have a sink here. And then you're going to have this come up like this. Then you have a countertop here. These bathrooms are small, but this is a Waffle House. This will come on across this way, just like this. All right. Now in here you're gonna have your sink there, and then your countertop across this way. All right. Now go ahead and take these on up with your restrooms. Grab yourself a lantern, hang it right here, and then one right here as well in the restroom. Let's come on up. Just like that. Alright, now place your choice of door in here. In here. Your send will go right here on top. Just like that. And don't forget to put your lever here for the faucet. This level, this will be your ceiling. This white wall again will be one, two, three, four, number fifth block up. That'll be your ceiling level, so fill all that in. It'll end up being right here. On that yellow so it'll be on that level then you're going to take the smooth quartz slab it's going to come right here come straight on down to here and then you're going to go ahead and take that slab come right here and then right in here all right now on the countertop this block here you're gonna have your door right slab as you see right here that door right slab will go all the way down just like this and it will be doubled up again all the way down just like this here come on across here and then just like that then you're gonna have your choice of trap door for entrance there and then another one right here as well then you're gonna have your smooth quartz slab right in here for a countertop That'll go straight on down to here. Then you gotta have a iron trap door here. You're gonna have some more sitting area here for the cashiers. 
I got three spots here, a chair, space between a chair, just like that. I got a weighted pressure plate here with a painting on the back for the computer, a lever here. Alright, now back here where all the magic happens, we have this block here. It's going to be up by two blocks with four buttons. Then you're going to have that slab coming across one, two, three, four, five, connecting up right here with a furnace. This texture pack, this is the smoker but it looks like microwaves so I put them there two trap doors trap doors along here uh, depending on your texture pack try to use it best as possible here I have some cabinets or some refrigerators again these are the barrels three blocks tall and then some more furnaces here two tripwire hooks this is the flat grill with polished anisite stairs upside down three of them with the gray carpet on top and then we have the iron trap doors going on across we have one two three four five and then we have the hoppers this one's going into the wall and up under you see this one's face buttons on there and then another trap door here all right now I'll finish this off on the inside here we got some bar stools here as you see all I've done is I place the seat like this for the bottom and then like this for the stool I have four of them here and then I have on this end one two three four five six all right now on the outside here right above the door I'm gonna place the black half slab right above the door Hello right, everyone, again I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial, if you did please drop a like, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.